which side of my face is the black face paint or the euphoria foundation tea you can't tell you know why tar in a bottle this is jet black face paint and this is the darkest shade of the euphoria date night foundation hmm this is black face paint this is the darkest shade of the euphoria foundation hmm a few months ago i tried the darkest shade of the euphoria foundation this is what it looked like on me i'm gonna apply some of the foundation on this side of my face so you guys can see let's just go ahead and try to blend this out you guys enough who is that color i'm gonna wipe this off and let me put the paint all over my face i'm literally just going in with the face paint we're gonna do some painting and let me just go ahead and blend it out with the brush this is the darkest shade of the euphoria foundation this is black face paint. Hmm. Sometimes it's okay to say, hey, maybe my brand is not made for complexion. I'm gonna squeeze a pump of this on my forehead just right out the bottle so you guys can see that I'm literally not joking. We're gonna do a big blend of this, you guys. When we say that we want you guys to make shades for us, we don't mean to go to the lab and ask for menstrual show black. What we mean is to take the browns that you have made create undertones and do what you need to do in the lab so it's a darker shade of brown. This is the darkest shade, shade 600. And as you guys can see in the bottle, literally jet black. The shade right next to it, shade 590. This is what it looks like in the bottle. Here is shade 600. You guys, there could be like, 10 more shades in between these two shades. In addition to that, when we go to the actual website and we look at the swatch, not only is the swatch online literally jet black, there's literally only four or five shades for people that actually have dark complexions. Not really for black people, for being honest. Not only in 2024 is this so disgusting and disrespectful, but this needs to be pulled off the shelves. Now that is straight up out of pocket, period, point blank. There's no getting around it. So what you just seen there was Influencer Gloria trying shade 600 of Euphoria's foundation and it was called Date Night. Is this surprising? No. Am I disappointed? Yes. Because I wanted to like this brand. I wanted to like this brand because it's a woman owned brand. It's a woman of color owned brand. It's a small business and it's a very innovative and just really cool, unique brand and this is for all my brown skin brothers and sisters when it comes to a brand do not go somewhere where you're just barely tolerated like this brand is trying to barely tolerate you guys go somewhere where you're appreciated go somewhere where you're uplifted go somewhere where you're not the afterthought but let's be honest the beauty industry as a whole has been has been colorist like they've had a racist and colorist issue for a very long time and this is just no surprise it's just one of the things that adds to the list of disappointing choices that a brand has made in the cosmetics industry let's get into it so if you're in america you probably see that we have a eurocentric beauty standard and when i say that i'm talking about blonde hair blue eyes light skin skinny tall i'm looking for a man in finance with trust fund six five blue eyes with eurocentric facial features skinny nose smaller lips well some would argue today now they want bigger lips but that's besides the point now i'm only saying in america because i don't really know what's going on in other countries i just know what's going on here because i'm here in america but i'm sure there's a little bit of colorism a little bit of like light skin privilege anywhere you go in the world because that's just how it is just because of history and everything that's went on and that's another video for another day but y'all know what's going on but the beauty standard in America was set by the majority, which is Caucasian Americans, white people. Bruh, white people be like, like you? <laughs> and if you didn't fit into that beauty standard, you were considered unattractive, ugly, or anything but beautiful. Up until the 1940s, cosmetics and beauty brands did not even market towards people with brown skin tones. It was only advertised to people of the lighter skin variety. And then when cosmetic brands finally started to market towards brown skin women, they marketed skin lightening creams and they marketed these things to brown skin women so they could try to put brown skin women in the Eurocentric beauty standard. They weren't trying to help them embrace their brown skin. They weren't trying to enhance the brown skin or their natural beauty. They were trying to change it. See, it's like they're there's always been an undertone of putting brown skinned people to the back burner when it came to the cosmetic industry. 
And then you fast forward to now, you see ads like where a woman is taking off her shirt, a brown skinned woman is taking off her shirt. And then when she takes it off, there is a white woman underneath. As to say that having light skinned is cleaner, that's the implication what it was back in the day that if your skin was brown, you were dirty. And if your skin was white, you were clean, which is of course not a fact at all. Now we can fast forward to modern times when it comes to the cosmetics industry as a whole. Take for example, when Tarte didn't have many brown skin shades. It was I believe in 2018 but it was back when Tarte didn't really cater to brown skin women and some would argue today they still don't but they had maybe like three shades of brown skin for their foundation and the rest of it was like maybe 24 shades and put the picture up here it was all pretty much white <laughs> white skin shades and maybe a couple of like light super light brown shades and then it just jumped to a couple of brown skin shades like they didn't include anybody else that maybe caramel brown dark skin brown none of that they were not catering towards brown skin people they were not making their brand for brown skin people now today if you look at tarts if you look at tarts website now they have a lot more brown skin foundations but it's because they were called out if they hadn't been called out they wouldn't have made it who could forget kat von d when she posted that foundation it was like maybe my skin tone foundation she posted a picture of it in front of a freaking cotton field and said, let this do the hard work for you. Now, if you cannot pick up what that implies, then, you know, I'm not gonna spell it out for you, but if you pick it up, then you pick it up. So that's another of the many examples of like, you know, hints of racism, undertones of racism in the cosmetics industry. But back to this Euphoria debacle. So a little bit about Euphoria, it was started in 2020 during the pandemic, owned by an Asian American woman named Fiona Ko Chan and her products are manufactured in Korea. Now, Korea is known for having some of the best skincare products, and she kind of founded her brand on being a makeup brand that you can sleep in, that was good for your skin. And when I originally heard of this brand, I was like, wow, like what a cool brand, what a dope brand. I've never seen a makeup brand that says you should sleep in it, that's actually good for your skin. If you go to sleep in it, you won't wake up with like pimples and acne, so. Also, Euphoria went on Shark Tank and won $400,000 deal with Mark Cuban. When I first heard of this brand, I was like, wow, what a cool brand. But you know, this recent drama, I looked into that and then I looked into a little bit deeper into their brand and like their social media presence and everything. And it turns out this 2024 debacle was not the first debacle that they ever had when it comes to brown skin women and the foundation that youth for year produces boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy now their first debacle was in 2023 literally a year ago <laughs> which is crazy to me. So in 2023, they rolled out their foundation shades. And the crazy thing was they had so many light skin foundation shades and it was like reminiscent of Tarte in 2000. Ooh, I can't remember actually. When Tarte had their debacle with not having enough brown skin shades, it was like the same thing. And it's kind of like, oh, you didn't learn from that. So she barely had any brown skin shades and she sent her product to brown skin women. And this is where it gets really interesting. Her packaging showed that it was, I believe shade 450 was the darkest one in 2023. And the shade was like brown skin, you know, like medium brown skin, I guess, on the bottle. But when the influencers opened it and started using it, it was similar to this color. Now it's not this brand, this brand is like, this is a bronzer, but the shade was literally this color. And I'm gonna put a clip up to show you what I'm talking about. This is the darkest shade. Is the alleged shade here in the room with us. This keeps happening because tone inclusivity is not something these beauty companies are worried about. They do not care. The next foundation we're trying is the Euphoria Date Night Foundation that is literally going viral on TikTok and apparently you can sleep in it. Let's see if it's tone inclusive. I'm using the darkest shade of 495 and this is what this product looks like online. But somehow these are the same color, right? One pump. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. I feel like I've been lied to so bad. This is what this shade looks like online, and this is what this shade looks like on the model. As we can see here, somebody is lying. There is no way these are the same two shades. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Do we see each other? Rah! Bish. In 2023, for you to be lying about your shades online and this to be your darkest shade, you know, maybe we should take a step back. Let's really, as a whole, as a company, as a beauty industry in itself, sit down 
and be like, hey, I have some questions. Like, yeah, you could sleep in this foundation, Pookie, but it's not tone inclusive. For this to be your darkest shade in 2023? This is foundation you can sleep in. This is the Euphoria Date Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation. Everyone's raving about how you can like sleep in this and as somebody who actually sleeps in their makeup accidentally, this is quite interesting. I was in two shades. We're just gonna go ahead and use the deepest one. Another thing I heard, it's at the shade range, it wasn't the best, and hopefully it's like one of those skin tint foundations that like adjusts to your skin when you blend it out. Using the brush it came with, I did go back to double check you guys, and this is the deepest shade this comes in, which I think is so crazy. I was like, maybe I just used too much, so let's try a smaller amount. Honestly, very disappointing. Now, the shade was clearly not even a dark skin tone. It was just like a kind of caramel brown skin tone. But on the actual packaging, it showed a darker skin tone. And at first I was like, maybe they just messed up. Maybe they sent the influencer the wrong bottle inside of the packaging. But no, it was like all the influencers, everybody who used it said the same thing. The packaging showed a much darker skin tone. And then when you actually got the foundation, it was very light crazy and weird it's like okay that was back in 2023 so she came back in 2024 with shade 600 which is the darkest shade this brand has ever made and she was called out by influencer gloria and gloria pretty much called it tar in a bottle because it was so close to the shade of black paint you almost could not tell the difference and it's reminiscent of Gloria said a minstrel show and if y'all don't know what that is it's kind of when back in the day back when like racism was in your face and it was just crazy people were putting on minstrel shows and minstrel shows just if you don't know were blackface shows where a white person would put full blackface on and paint their lips pink and just do kind of a caricature of a black person it was a very disrespectful thing and such a embarrassing time in America's history and the people who did it shouldn't be ashamed of themselves but when she mentioned that I was like yes it's definitely given that the darkest person in the world is still brown skin they still have undertones of blue there is no way shape and form that this should have ever been sent out to anybody and the crazy thing is when you look on the videos of people like reacting and the videos of Fiona trying this product shade 600 on people she tried it on like two men in a video that she turned the comments off of course on her um social media on tiktok she tried it on these men and it was still too dark for them like You'll see the video. I'm gonna show the video right here. A few days ago, I told you guys how stressed I was. I'm looking for a model for the darkest shade of Euphoria Foundation. He's before long. I don't have enough time to do a full photo. I'm on the other side of the world. I'm street casting and getting ghosted. I met Alvin and Jack graciously agreed to be our models. We don't have a ton of time. I went to the mall and decided to do a photo shoot at the mall. I am trying to be the videographer, but also the makeup artist on set. It was honestly so chaotic, but kind of I found fun. a camera store that agreed to email us a photo. It's just gonna have to. Who's the two darkest shade of Euphoria Foundation? Trendy has more warmth. Hundred is a cool neutral. And Alvin has a great skin. I am applying it while holding the camera. Actually blends so easily into his and skin. And in all of our website photos, we always just do half a face of no makeup, half a face of Euphoria Foundation. You can see the before and after, but he has great skin. His undertone was actually perfect. And then Jackson actually was so sweet. The entire time we were just talking about my journey trying to grow Euphoria. He was like, I hope your dreams come true. Same thing here, left side, no makeup, and right side with foundation. Then we were ready to pop into this passport photo booth and get some photos taken. I was a little bit skeptical about whether or not this would work out. Would it match the style of photos that we normally do? But wait, these photos turned out so well now our shade grid is finally I'm complete so excited to launch these 10 new shades yes clearly in the video you can see it was even too dark for them because it was black i'm just going to show you a couple people's reactions to this debacle and then we'll talk a little bit more about it which side of my face is the black face paint or the euphoria foundation t you can't tell i want y'all to see something first before folks start gaslighting her and other black creators in the comments so this is one of euphoria's lightest foundations if you look here at the bottom of the ingredient list, you'll notice three different colors. Stay with me now. The CI stands for color index, and it basically represents titanium white, red, and yellow iron oxides. Pretty much the only colors you need to make a lighter shade of foundation. But then if we look at their darkest shade, the ingredient list tells a different story. Here, there's only one pigment, CI77499, which is just black iron oxide. No other colorants. This foundation literally only has pure black pigment. Here's a close-up if you missed it the first time. And before folks say, oh, maybe it's meant as a mixing pigment, that makes no sense. Anyone who's ever taken an art class will tell you that black is a terrible pigment to mix with because it just makes things gray and muddy. 
and skin tones typically have some combination of eumelanin and pheomelanin. The pheomelanin is where we get the red and yellow undertones. And this problem is so avoidable, she literally could have used NARS or Fenty foundation shades as a benchmark. This brand does not care about us. I'm coming out of retirement for this. For those of you who don't know me, nice to meet you. I go by Joni and I am an artist specializing in oil portraiture, but I also work with makeup. And today's topic of conversation is this foundation shade. Is this even usable? And before we start talking about the practicality of this product, let's start off simple with what is melanin? Melanin is what gives our eyes, hair, skin, color. Everybody has it to different degrees. When you see characteristics like my dark eyes or my dark hair, it is associated with having more melanin as opposed to somebody with say blonde hair and blue eyes. There's many types of melanin found in humans, but specifically for our eyes, hair, and skin color, it is determined by the presence of eumelanin and pheomelanin. Eumelanin is responsible for dark colors like my eye color and my hair color, the pinkness of my lips that's due to pheomelanin. So even though from far my irises and my hair color may look pure black, it isn't. And if you have black hair like me, you know exactly what I mean when I say standing in direct sunlight actually shows the true hue of the color. Our skin color works in the same way in that paler people have less eumelanin in their skin, so therefore they have less pigment. When most people think of black things like black paint or black objects, we often think of the absence of color, but this is not at all how skin, hair, and eye pigment works. The comparison who has a very deep dark complexion is not because they lack pigment it's because they have an abundance of it purely jet black people like this foundation do not exist in real life when strong light sources like the sun hit deep complexions they still reflect brown orange hues that's also why when artists paint we typically don't like mixing with black straight from the tube for our palette because it muddies the color very quickly and just because something looks black to our eyes doesn't mean that it is black like jet black. Black is also an extremely strong pigment, which means it lowers the chroma of your color mixes too rapidly, and therefore you end up with these lifeless colors that are muddy. And I'm saying all this to show you exactly why this color still makes absolutely zero sense as a real foundation shade. This is Euphoria's darkest shade of foundation. It's not listed on their website as being anything other than a foundation, not a mixing pigment, not a contour, a foundation, a jet black foundation. After people test out their initial foundation release, they asked them to extend the shade range, and this is what Euphoria came back with, claiming that it is a neutral undertone. Undertones in foundation implies that there's a stronger underlying pigment apart from the orange base. Orange being the hue family that normal human skin tones range in. I swatched three of the darkest foundation shades from three different brands. All have been shown to work on people with deeper complexions. And on my pinky finger, I swatched Euphoria's darkest shades. See how the first three actually have an undertone? What is this? Adding pure white does lower the overall chroma of the color, but you'll get the gist. Even after adding white pigment and lowering the chroma that much, these three shades still have some sort of undertone. This one, absolutely not. Um... That's gray. This shade does not have a workable undertone because it did not have a base shade at all. That's because this foundation only contains one pigment, black oxide. My favorite cosmetic chemist, Javon Ford, actually speaks more about this on his page. I highly suggest you check out his videos. <laughs> like, you cannot tell me that that foundation shade is meant to be wearable on its own, because it's not. You also cannot convince me that this is supposed to be a foundation mixer because when you mix black and yellowish or orange hues, you get like a really weird, gross looking green, not a normal olive green undertone, like straight up olive green. Nobody is that color. That is a booger. That is mucus. A while ago, Rem Beauty released these mixing shades and clearly on their website, it says that it is meant to alter contour or highlight. But on Euphoria's website, there's no information about it being a mixing shade. It quite literally just says foundation like it was never meant to be a mixing shade. Actually, the brand publicly documented that they made the foundation shade before they even had a person to match it to. So eventually they pulled two random men off the street and said that it matched their foundation shades but guess what the darkest shade was still too dark for him and the only reason that it looked like it worked on camera was because they sheared it out so much that you could barely see the products anymore so please somebody explain to me why they were blindly creating and releasing products for a skin tone they weren't even sure existed they actually had so many examples online for them to use as a reference point they knew that they needed to make darker shades and also more undertones and yet they ignored it this is their darkest shade and this is their second to darkest shade i don't think a single attempt was made to include as many undertones as they had with their lighter shades for the darker ones because what is this going from this shade of brown to straight up pitch black you're actually crazy. And it's so disappointing to see because I was really supportive of their initial shade launch until I found out that they were shade baiting. Mm -hmm. And even then, when people gave them a second chance to right their wrongs, they still messed up. At this point, I think they should just trash the brand as a whole. I can't believe I have to say this in the year 2024, but just in case anybody else is still confused, black people aren't literally black in color. The same way white people aren't computer paper white. Please stop making excuses for brands that don't try, don't care, and refuse to take accountability. Use your brain. Like, why would you create a foundation shade that's not gonna match anyone? It's so weird because that foundation shade is not actually for anyone with dark skin. It in fact exists for the brand to say that their entire makeup line is not actually for anyone with dark skin. They might as well have named the damn shade Shoe Polish. This shade was released purely out of spite and racism. 
you cannot convince me that there weren't at least, probably way more, at least three people at the absolute highest level in this company who fully intended this shade to be to be a joke about minstrel shows. Not only are they saying, hey, black women, our line's not for you, but they're also saying, even when we approximate your skin tone, um, it's actually for white people to uh, then be part of the extremely long and horrific history of uh, painting themselves pitch black to mock your entire race. It's shoe polish. That was their intention. This is not a legitimate foundation shade. It is mockery in response to being called out for trying to make a whites only makeup brand in 2024. So to me, this euphoria situation is feeling like the perfect example of right product, wrong CEO. As somebody who is an ex customer of the brand, when I first saw the brand, I was so excited about them. A makeup you can sleep in, good for your skin, and it, it, the, this at least looks really, really nice on my lips. But the mistake after mistake that this brand has made with the black community is appalling. It's a part to me that was really aggravating about this foundation specifically. Video to promote this foundation was her going around a mall to different people and her going around to different models and finding that no one, no one matches shade. She could not find the right model because this shade was so much darker than every other shade in the stores. Girl, all of the signs, all of the signs were right in front of your nose and you could not figure out why this shade wasn't matching anyone. This is a CEO that is consistently not paying attention to number one, what her customers are looking for, and number two, the signs that are right in front of her. And this is why this brand is no longer performing as well as it used to be. I generally think that the only way that this brand can recover is to change the CEO. Am I wrong? This is black face paint. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation. I think everyone's being a little dramatic. I'm gonna show you how to use that shade. So first take the black paint, I mean the foundation. Yeah, it's really nice and dark. We're gonna do a drop and then mix a lighter shade. Mix it really good. And if it's still too dark, add another shade of foundation. If you're struggling to match yourself, it's really a you problem. You just don't know how to mix the right pigments. Look at this beautiful shade of skin tone gray I created. You're telling me nobody is this color? Someone is. I'm just not realizing that some people think dark skin people, like the really deep dark skin people are black. Like they think their skin is black. Maybe their skin is dark brown. With, with the cooler undertone, with a blue undertone, like, their skin is not black, sweetie. Like, oh my God, I seen someone say, oh, this Senegalese woman, she would definitely fit this Euphoria shade. <laughs> they're talking about Kudi. I don't want to say her name, but yeah, they're talking about her. Whole time, she already tried the shade and said it was too dark. And whole time again, she's brown. And then again, she has black face paint in this picture on her chin. So, so now do you see that her skin is brown and not black? Like, you guys... I fear people don't know what contrast is. They just have this sort of color blindness when it comes to color dark brown and black. Like my hair is dark brown. Some people just can't see it. It's like, what are you talking about? I think someone say, oh, I'm South Sudanese. My dad, he's black. They're jet black. Um, I'm South Sudanese too, sweetie. My family's deep dark skin, majorly. They're, they're South Sudanese people, the dark people that you see in these pictures, they're not black, they're dark brown. But you guys can't see that because your eyes are just like, I don't like I, my eyes are like vision wise, but you guys are color wise. Like you guys can't differentiate these colors. And you're thinking that a black, a dark skin person is going to fit black face paint. It's going to be a shade match. No, that's why the brand could not find a shade match in real life. They could not find a person who matched a shade. Like you could literally see it's not his shade. So it's like, you guys need to stop pretending that it's someone's shade when it's literally not. It's just the color black. It's just black face paint. And I think you guys like have a hard time like like understanding it until you see someone who has deep dark skin put black against their skin. You're like, oh, you're actually not black. Dark brown is not black. Some people are actually defending Euphoria's shade 600 being black. Their reasoning being, okay, what if the brand was trying to put a black color out there 
REM's done that with their concealer, so let's talk about it. Not only did REM Beauty launch a full-on black shade, they also had a white shade, and they literally said that this is for mixing, and they said it's white. This is Euphoria's lightest shade, Fair Neutral. Once again, REM Beauty said this is a blue black for blue black for mixing and contouring. They say it's a deep neutral. They don't say it's black. And if that is what they were doing, why didn't they also have a white shade as an option to go lighter? And I'm sure at this point, the brand is going to try to save themselves either by taking the shade off and making an apology video and then a few months later, coming up with a lot of new shades or by doing just that, by renaming it and maybe just adding another like white shade and saying that's what they were trying to do all along. The question is, this is not their first mistake when it comes to shade range. So do we forgive? Would we redeem them if they took these two actions or is it time we understand the intentions of this brand and boycott them? Now me being just a consumer of cosmetics and not really knowing how you develop a cosmetic like a foundation, I can't truthfully speak on anything besides just knowing a little bit about color theory and, you know, painting and sometimes creating my own foundation shade out of different foundations and different colors. Like, there is a person who posted a video on TikTok. They showed themselves using like a Halloween paint palette. Like, I have one of them too. And I would sometimes try to make my foundation shade on there too, using like yellow, um, red, white. And it just doesn't seem to me like they even did any of that. It seemed like maybe they just chose like one base color. That's kind of the sentiment that I'm getting from it, but I don't know much about it, but this woman does. So I'm going to show you this video. This is going down for me for sure as the biggest inclusivity stain on our community in 2024. Euphoria is masterclass of what not to do when trying to be inclusive. Our good friend Blair sent us Gloria's video last night right before we went to bed. And our first thought was this can't be happening again. It's a shade range that's unfortunately missed the mark on inclusivity. This is really disappointing. And then I woke up this morning and I saw Javon's video. This foundation literally only has pure black pigment. My deepest, darkest fear came to life. I am a beauty product developer and I've been in those rooms where you're formulating the darkest shade. Done this many times at the mass market level, at the prestige level. Facilities where the people that are working on darker tones at the request of the brands that they're working with have never actually seen a human of color. Put that color onto human skin. One of these people have only ever had the opportunity to work on dark, like plastic swatches. I've worked at companies that are international global companies that have flown out humans of color to avoid this exact type of situation. I really don't think they matched it to a human tone during the development process. They would have seen the lack of nuance that is required to bring a complexion shade to life. Product development is centered around intention. You need representation inside those labs to make sure that you can develop the shade ranges that you need if you're not gonna bring in outside support. I saw that foundation compared side by side to black pigment. I said, I think that the team at Euphoria wanted to bring the darkest foundation shade to market as dark as possible to avoid exactly what's happening right now. But they took that extreme too far. You need to be thorough. You need to be using real human skin. It is a better way to do this. It really is unacceptable to launch a foundation that doesn't have any acknowledgement of tonality on skin. It's safe to say she missed the mark on this launch. She definitely missed the mark on this launch. And I think that we all have a responsibility to continue to shape this narrative and continue to shift this narrative is it going down in the history books i think so from her video it kind of gives that they didn't even try to shit on an actual human being before they decided to just put it out there like i think the first time they maybe tried it like this is alleged i don't really know but this is just what i'm getting from this it seems like the first time they may have tried that on a human being was with those two guys in that promotional video that they had on their tiktok page i just want to come on and say that i'm extremely sorry when I first started Euphoria two years ago, all I wanted to do was create a space where individual beauty could be celebrated. And unfortunately, with our latest launch, we just fell short of that mission. I know I can say we're just a tiny brand and that just doesn't excuse the fact that some of you guys do not feel seen or included and that that is unacceptable. I'm extremely sorry that we did not do a great job by, this, by you guys with this launch and with this product but I'm trying to learn to be better. I've already set up time with community leaders and experts on the best way that we can improve. 
But for now, just know that we already have additional shades in development. More coming from us shortly. We'll keep you guys posted. And if you guys would like to be part of the change, we're always looking for community feedback. Okay, now time for my opinion. Honestly, I think Euphoria made a very ignorant mistake. And I truthfully don't even think Euphoria wanted to develop foundation for brown skinned people at all. And the reason I say this is because if you look back at 2023, they really didn't even make a foundation shade for brown skinned women at all. It just really stopped at like caramel skin tone. So I feel like maybe Fiona did not even want to market this or make this for people of the brown skin tone at all. I don't think it was even made for anybody if you're listening. If you have brown skin and you're listening, I don't think this was made for you. And I don't think that you should support a brand that thinks of you as an afterthought after people call them out and complain. Because it's just given the same energy as, you know, somebody running out of Airbnb for their birthday and they want everybody to put in money on it. So they invite a bunch of people and they don't have enough people there. So they invite you last minute to try to get you to help pay for the rest of the Airbnb because I can't afford it. It's giving like you're just an afterthought. So if I were you, I would not support this brand. I personally am not going to support this brand because I don't think that they're trying to honor my sisters who are brown skin and my brothers who may be using this who are brown skin. They not honor, but they're not trying to cater towards y'all. They don't care. They didn't put you guys at the forefront when they first made this foundation. And now they're kind of playing in your face with this like pretty much pitch black foundation. It feels like they threw it out there and was like, okay, well you want darker foundation? We're gonna give you the darkest foundation as well as ever seen. We're gonna give you pitch black. And then I've seen on the internet, a lot of people, them like they're trying to make excuses for this brand. They're trying to say, oh, well, they were trying to develop this or market this as a foundation mixer so you can darken your foundation with it. Okay, well, one, if it was a foundation darkener, it wouldn't just say foundation on the bottle. That's number one. Number two, when people actually did try to mix it with foundation, it made the foundation that they mixed it with gray and weird and kind of like when maybe a brown skin person puts on a sunscreen that is just too, like it gives them a white cast, it gives them that, it's like that effect. So clearly it wasn't made for that. And number three, if they were going to make a foundation darkener, why didn't they make a foundation lightener? Why don't they have a base white for a foundation lightener? It's because it never was that. It was just developed to be a foundation. And clearly you know it was a foundation because the CEO, Fiona, was trying it on those male models in her TikTok video as a freaking foundation. And it was still too dark for them. Okay, so y'all know I never like to leave off on a bad note or leave you guys just out in the ether <laughs> without brands to choose from. So, or without anything positive to gain from this. I want you guys to go out there and support a brand that caters to you and that's very inclusive. And here is a couple of brands that you can choose from. And maybe in the comments below, can you list some more brands where there's a very inclusive foundation base where they are not problematic? Please do. <laughs> Please do that. I won't be supporting this brand. I don't know about you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this was just an honest mistake from a small brand that's just coming up? Do you think it was blatant disrespect? Please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you do decide to comment, please be respectful and make sure not to stay on this internet all day. All right, I'll see you guys later.